Covering Colorado first with your forecast, severe storms moving into the front range, bringing thunder and hail. This is video from around Cherry Creek High School in Greenwood Village. You can see that hail bouncing off the pavement. Let's get to meteorologist Chris Spears with Colorado's forecast. Chris. Well, the storm making that hail is still out there. It is not severe rated, but it is sitting right around the Cherry Creek State Park and moving east. So that drive along the spillway there on 225 in Aurora uh, could be a little dicey right now. That storm will move east, basically traveling along Hampton. If you're familiar with that part of town, we have more storms developing around Lafayette, Broomfield and Erie. You've had a couple of rounds already. Storms extend right out there toward the Wiggins area. This storm right here in the DIA vicinity is rated severe. Uh, we've had reports of one to one and a half inch hail coming from that storm. That warning goes through 530. I am sure flights are being uh, rerouted temporarily around the airport. That is tough to land in uh, northern Colorado. You're not left out. We have some thunderstorms rumbling along the Wyoming state line. This one right here is really gaining some strength just below uh, the state line there along I-25. And then widening out the view, we had one batch move off into Kansas, and here comes the second wave of storms off the foothills, all because of a strong cold front. Before that front got here, we hit 78 at the airport. We were 82 here at CBS4. A little bit uh, off the norms, but not too far. Record for this date is 98 degrees. 73 here in downtown Denver 69 at the airport air is certainly cooling down winds are northeast at 18 and gusty look at this <laughs> near 100 in the southeast they're definitely ahead of that cold front but the rest of us are behind it and the air coming in is unseasonably cool. Look at all that blue up there in Montana and Wyoming. Some of us are going into the 40s tonight here along the front range. Mark Milligan, our weather watcher in fair play is 70. Ron Sherwood in Southwest Lakewood, 76 degrees. We still have a severe thunderstorm watch for extreme east central Colorado and then this watch that is basically along and east of I-25. They both go through nine o'clock and here's Futurecast and it does a really good job showing these storms. They may May rumble now through nine o'clock. We could continue to see a few different waves of storms come through. Once we lose our daytime heating, it will become just shower activity overnight. Look at this snow above 9,500 feet tonight. No warnings or advisories, but there will be some fresh snow in the higher terrain. Rolling into tomorrow, it's going to be just kind of a cool, unsettled day, a mix of sun and clouds with an ongoing threat for a passing shower. Tonight, a lot of coolness on this map. 30s and 40s will be very common. 50s in the southeast. Denver's low somewhere around 44 or 45 tomorrow. Uh, I have us at 59, Kathy. It's entirely possible somebody could crack the 60 degree mark, but you get the point. It's going to be very, very cool mm -hmm. tomorrow. Uh, five day forecast. It's a short lived cool down. Starting Monday, we get right back into those 70s and eventually 80 by the end of the coming uh, week or the approaching weekend. So uh, keep it easy for the next few hours. We'll alert you if we get any more warnings. And of course, 80 plus thousand people outside of the Garth Brooks concert. So be a fun one. hopefully they'll avoid the stadium. Hopefully. Yeah. Thanks. Well, come